This tutorial describes how you can create event series within Offering Tree. Click on the Event Series tab under Manage Schedule. Next, click Create Event Series. You'll need to select an offering. So this is any offerings that you have already set up, whether you've scheduled them as a class or an appointment. In this case, I'll go ahead and take one of my existing offerings, Intro to Mindful Yoga, and make it into an event series. As soon as I select that, I'll be brought to the Create Event Series page. You'll see that it automatically pulls in the title of the event series. It pulls in a price if I set one for the offering as well as the description from the offering itself. I'll need to set a maximum capacity if I have one. In this case, let's say my event series can be 25 people. I can allow registrations. If I need to require a waiver, I can turn that on. I can change the text from a default waiver, keep it the same. In this case, I'll use the default waiver. I can accept online payments and I can require payment to register, or I can simply make it optional. In this case, I wanna make this a donation-based series, so I'll click Accept Donations, and this will allow students or participants to be able to register either by donating zero dollars or any amount above zero, so it's totally optional. Next, I'll set the bank account, and I will set to absorb the fees so that I'm responsible for the fees and not the clients, so that when they see the donation amount, they'll just simply pay whatever the donation amount is. Now that I've got all this information set up, the event series title, the currency, the description, as well as the other options that I can configure and the payment settings, I can go down to the bottom and click Create Series. You'll see a little green pop-up says Event Series Created. And now you'll notice that this Add Event button is no longer grayed out. I can actually click on this. This will allow me to schedule all of the classes that are part of the series. And this is important because if you're offering a course that meets multiple times, you'll want to make sure that each of those classes are included within the series so that students only register once for your course rather than needing to register for each individual class session. So in order to add different events within this series, I'll click Add Event. I'll pick the first date and time, so I'll use today's date. Let's say I'm gonna start it at 2 p.m. Uh, make sure that the end date matches the start date. The only reason you'd ever wanna change this is because you were leading a multi-day retreat, in which case the start and the end date were different within one particular session. But in this case, since my class is really an hour long, I need to make sure that the start date and the end date are the same. So typically, you don't wanna change this. Confirm that the start time and the end time are correct. Now, let's say that this class happens every Wednesday for four weeks. In that case, I'll hit the repeat. I'll say it's gonna repeat weekly. It repeats one time a week. It happens on Wednesday. And then I'm gonna choose when it ends. So today's April 29th. So maybe I'll have this be a four session class. So that would be the 29th, that would be May 6th, May 13th. So then I would choose May 20th as the end for this repeating uh, set of classes and hit done. I'll make this an online event. In this case, I would paste in the Zoom link for the meeting. I'd add the text for the button to let students know how to join. Join this series clicking here. This will be the button that students receive in their email when they get a confirmation. I'll click done. I don't need to add an address or location because this is an online event. If it was an in-person event, I could add an address and even add a location name if I needed one. So now I'll go ahead and hit create. And now what you'll see is it's added these four classes. So if I was teaching a four class course that met for one hour starting at 2 p.m. on Wednesday, that's how I would do it. Now you can see that they all show up down here. Now if I need to make changes to one of these, I can just hit the edit button and make the changes directly. Let's say I want to start this class at 3 p.m. I can hit save and I only want to apply it to this particular class if I'm making a change for some reason. Let's say I had a conflict and I had to move the class an hour later. 
I could apply it to all the future events, but I don't want to do that. So that if I click that one, it would be today's event and all the events that happened after that. But in this case, I only want it to be this particular class. I'll hit save and notice it's now updated that time to say 3 p.m. So after you've created them initially, you can make these modifications. Let's say I wanted to remove a class from this uh, series. I would just delete it. It'll ask me, are you sure you want to? I'll say, yep. And now you'll see that their only classes are on April 29th. I skip a week and then it's May 13th and May 20th. So this is how you can create uh, a course or a class. So now that I've created the event series, you'll see that on the event series tab, it lists this event series. I can access the roster directly by clicking on this and this will show me how many people have signed up. This will also allow me to send a message to everyone that's in this event series or this course. I can add registrations manually if I need to. The other thing I can do is I can edit this uh, event series after it's been created. So if I just simply click the edit icon, it'll bring me right back into the page where I can see all of the classes or the events that I've scheduled as part of this series. The other thing to mention is that if you are creating uh, a new event series, let's say you don't have an offering for it, but you have an idea for a new course or a new event that has multiple sessions in it, all you have to do is create the event series. You can say add a new offering and then this will pull it up. In this case, let's say I'm going to add another yoga event and this will be called Advanced Mindful Yoga Course. And in this uh, I'll description, I'll say this is a four class course on advanced yoga concepts. And I'll set the price for this course to be $250. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit create. And as soon as I do that, it takes me to the create event series page. So now it's just like before. I can start to add in whatever um, options I want, max capacity, I can change all the different requirements for waivers, registration, payments, donations. And then just like before, I can click create series. It'll say it's created. And now I can start adding in the classes for that uh, course or adding in the events for that series. At this point, your event series is now live. So if you go back to your website, you'll see that it actually lists this for each of them. And students just have to click on the first one and you'll see that it says events one of three on this page. So in this case, you can, um, students will see that it's an online offering and that they can see how many times and sessions there are within uh, this particular course or this series. And then they would hit register and you'll see there's the suggested donation amount. Since I checked a waiver, they have to hit agree to a waiver. They'd enter their name, their email, register, and then they get a confirmation email for this event series. Students only need to register once for an event series. The link that they get will work for all of the classes in this event series. One uh, final tip is that once you actually click on this uh, page for the event series, and particularly the one that says uh, the first class within the series, so in this case event one of three, this is the page that I would tend to use to send to students to have them register. So you can get to that page again by on your home page, clicking the first date within the event series, and then you could just grab the URL from your browser and paste that into uh, the email that you're sending to students to register. You can also get to that by going to offerings, and if I click on that, again, I'll be taken to that same page. I can grab that URL, or I could click on it by uh, getting to the schedule. And you'll notice that if I look on the schedule, there's this little series tag in the top right corner that lets me know this is part of a series. So again, multiple ways to be able to access um, your event series. So this is a brief tutorial how you can offer a course or uh, a series of events that are all tied together. Um, and we look forward to seeing all that you have to offer.